user experience, or UX, encompasses all aspects of a user's interaction with a company, its services, and products. A similar concept is called customer experience, or CX. CX focuses more on tactics and touch points that boost revenues. Think marketing and branding. Now, UX practitioners, they are aware of these matters and results too, but UX focuses on usability as their primary way of getting there. So what is usability? Usability means users can accomplish their task quickly, with minimal stress and errors, and ultimately feel satisfied in their interaction with a product or even service. For companies creating products, especially online ones, this becomes critical, not only for attracting customers, but also creating loyal customers and brand advocates. Good usability is good for business. A general awareness of the five characteristics of usability is helpful here because a UX researcher considers these factors when they're trying to build a usable product. It is effective if the user can complete their goals with a high degree of accuracy. It is efficient if the user can complete their goals quickly. It is engaging if the user finds their product pleasant and gratifying to use. It is error tolerant if the user can easily recover and get back to what they were doing. And it is easy to learn if when they use it again, it comes as second nature. Okay, so I realize that this is probably way more detail than you want to know, and, and honestly, probably need to know. So what I want you to remember is this, usability is user-centered. It is centered around a user's needs, wants, and expectations. What usability is not is your personal beliefs or opinions about their experience. In UX, we say, you are not the user. Why does all this talk about users and usability matter to your business? Because an effective UX roadmap depends on truly understanding your users. It is their input that will guide the various items captured in your UX roadmap or problems to solve. So where do you get these lists of problems? Ask yourself, do you have any of the following items? A product roadmap, a customer journey map, service blueprints, leadership strategy, backlogs from designer development, quantitative or qualitative user research, customer or employee support logs, market research surveys or brand audits, even a voice of customer study or a client advisory board. Now, before our next section, I want you to go ahead and gather these materials because in our next video, we'll learn about taking the invaluable information already in those artifacts and converting them into inputs for your UX roadmap artifact.